So for our next problem, this is number 11. We'll calculate delta G naught prime and KEQ from cellular concentrations. So hexokinase is an enzyme that catalyzes the phosphorylation of glucose from ATP, yielding glucose 6 phosphate and ADP. The standard state free energy change for the hydrolysis of glucose 6 phosphate is negative 13.9 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the standard free energy change and equilibrium constant for the hexokinase reaction. So how are we going to do this problem? Well, it takes a little bit of thought even though it's not a very long problem. So let's think about the overall reaction. So we've got glucose plus ATP yields glucose 6 phosphate plus ADP. Now that's our overall reaction. We need to calculate the delta G naught prime for this reaction. Okay. Well, the trick here is that we can look up the delta G naught prime for some um some of the reactions that make up this overall reaction. So this is a coupled reaction process. Okay, so we can say that glucose plus inorganic phosphate yields glucose 6 phosphate plus water. Okay, and we can say that ATP plus water yields ADP plus inorganic phosphate. Okay, and the delta G naught prime for this reaction, for the second reaction, if we look up in a table, is negative 30, or I think it was given to us, negative 30.5 kilojoules per mole, okay, and I think this is table three, and for this upper reaction, we don't have the delta G naught prime for this one, but we do have the delta G naught prime for the reverse reaction, which is glucose 6 phosphate plus water yields glucose plus inorganic phosphate, and that delta G is negative 13.9 kilojoules per mole. So we know that the forward reaction then would be the opposite, which is positive 13.9 kilojoules per mole. Okay. Okay, so if we add these reactions up, okay, so what we can do is we can say glucose, let's get a different color here. glucose, okay, plus ATP yields glucose 6 phosphate plus ADP. The PIs cancel because they're going to be on opposite uh, sides of the equation and H2O, water cancels. Okay, so what does that give us? That'll give us our overall reaction here that we that we had at the top. Glucose plus ATP yields glucose 6 phosphate plus ADP and that's the trick to this um, re this finding the answer to this problem so the delta G naught prime is equal to the total of these two delta G's which is going to be 13.9 um, minus 30.5 which is going to be equal to negative 16.6 kilojoules per mole, okay? So that is our delta G for, our delta G naught prime for the equation which we were asked to find. And now we can calculate the KEQ from that other equa equation that we had. Oh dear. KEQ is equal to E to the delta G naught prime over RT, which is equal to E to the 
<clears throat> now if we can either do this in kilojoules or joules it doesn't matter there you know the the times 10 to the third would cancel out but we're just going to have it in joules so we can say 16.6 .6 times 10 to the third joules okay per mole okay over R which is 8 this does not look like we're raising this E to that so let's make our E bigger okay 8.314 okay times the temperature which is in Kelvin which is 310 okay and that's going to be 629.9 because our temperature is 310 because we are inside a cell I don't think we were told that all right 629.9 is our KEQ yeah we were not given the temperature but these are cellular conditions okay so that's how to work this problem